all this, you wanted all this, and now yeah. here it is, man. How's it playing out versus your expectations? Man, it feels like a homecoming, man. It, it just feels nice. My coaches had to slow me down. They told me, like, just get up there and do a little bit of movement. Don't get all crazy. But I got loose, man. When people started cheering Ill Will Brooks or Will Brooks, whatever, and I just got crazy, man. I could have stayed up there all night. But this is this is amazing, man, seeing all these cameras. You asking me questions in this setting, this is amazing, man. I love this, man. I'm built for this, you know? So no. Nerves. Sorry, everybody. I'm sweating, man. I'm sorry. A lot of people say the Octagon jitters are very much real. What do you think it's going to be it's like? It's no such thing, there? man. It's yeah. no such thing. There's preparation. You know, you get, you make sure you're ready to go for everything in life. I think you do that with anything that you do. If you're a fighter, if you're a reporter, a media, anything. When you when you woke up this morning, you knew you were coming here, you, you figured out your questions that you were going to ask, right? So for me, I knew that I was going to be in the UFC at some point, so I was preparing myself, you know. Uh, I was working with the, the, the last organization that I was a part of, you know. I built myself up. I got comfortable with the idea of being a champion there, and, you know, I've moved forward. So I'm prepared. I'm ready to be here. I'd imagine you visualized this a lot over the past several years. Is it almost surreal to kind of have it happening now on this kind of a big stage of UFC 2-1? Not really, man, because, again, it's, it's one of those things where I prepared. I had myself ready, and I have a great, I have a great supporting cast, man. Just just not only my family and my, my fiance and all the you know the close people but my coaches man they since I've been at American Top Team they've made sure that I'm prepared for every single step of the way uh, physically mentally spiritually and just make sure that I'm constantly trying to evolve as a person and as a fighter so you know I've, I've been ready man my coaches have got me ready you know so let's go uh, where, where would you bring in comparison with the guys you've fought already in your career? Uh, I don't know man everybody's different I try my best not to think about, you know, everybody gets caught up in organizations and things like that, but for me, I try to see everything as a fight, as individual competitors, you know, so everybody's going to be different. Just because you represent this organization, that does nothing for your skill set. You still have to go in the gym and train and sweat and you maybe some, sometimes bleed in the gym like I do. So really, I don't rank anybody. I see everybody as an individual and I just, I try to attack that individual and not try to rank them amongst the other guys that I fought, you know. You guys had a bit of a back and forth on Twitter the other day. Yeah. Uh, did any of that stuff get to you today, or was it just? Not at all, man. I was dying laughing, man. It was fun. I love it, man. It's it's, it's part of the sport, man. Is we're part 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 of it is we're entertainers too, you know, and, and we're competitors. You never want to go in there and be like, oh, this guy's very very talented. He might beat me. No, you never want to think like that, you know. So to be able to go back and forth with a guy like that, not not be um, you know nasty or vicious or like kind of you know. Uh, taking underhanded shots at each other, but having fun with it was cool, you know. But uh, it's competitors, man. This is fighting. This ain't, we're not playing patty cake, you know what I'm saying? So it was fun. Russ was out here before and he said that he believes that you'll be running from him in this spot. What's your response to something like that? Yo, I'm a runner. That's uh, I'm an athlete. I'm a runner. No, I'm just kidding. No, man. I, look, man, this is fighting. I think a lot of guys have forgotten that this is mixed martial arts. This is not, hey, let's stand and punch. Like, this is not rock em, sock em, you know. Like, you're, you're training to beat everybody in every aspect of mixed martial arts, and that's something I've trained extremely hard to be able to do. I, I think I'm very uh, composed when I'm in there. I'm thinking all the time. I'm adapting at all times. If I have to run, if that's the game plan, if I have to stick and move and get out, then I'll play that game. If you don't like it, then you should have trained to beat it. You know what I'm saying? So for me, whatever Ross has to say is what he has to say. I think he says things like that because he knows that he's very limited in his skill set. So he can't do anything more than just walk forward, throw big punches, and that's it. So he needs to get guys to kind of want to play his game. So, you know, it is what it is. Bill, you have five round experience. You've been a champion. Do you feel, believe the UFC will fast track you? Uh, after the way I put a beating on Ross, man, it, yeah, of course, man. I'm not here to just hang out and look around for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I, I believe I'm a champion caliber fighter, you know, so right now it just happened that the timing just played out where I had to fight a guy that's not in the top 10, you know. Uh, I've been off for, I haven't fought since November of last year, so it's been a while, you know, and right now, a lot of their guys in the top 10 here in the UFC, they're either hurt or they're already booked. So it was like, man, do you want to, I could have signed with the UFC and be like, you know what, let me sit around and wait and see what happens. But I'm a competitor and I flipped the switch and was like, let's go fight and let's get to work. So, you know, I'm not worried about it. I'll go out there and do my thing and, you know, I'll move forward and I'll get to where I need to be, you know. Well, with that said, do you appreciate this reception and this opportunity at, at this particular moment? Because you do get the opportunity to introduce yourself to UFC fans. 
No, not really, man. I think any any position that they would have brought me in, if, it was, if they brought me in and said, hey, here's a title fight right off the bat, I'd be the same way. Again, just because I am ready for this. This is I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my spirit. My mind, body, and soul are on the same page. So I am ready for all of it. No matter where you put me in, I'm going to work. So that's it, you know? No shortage of UFC veterans uh, available to you. What kind of advice have you got ahead of your debut here uh, from the experienced people uh, in the Octagon? Oh, man, I've gotten so much help, man. It's uh, it's one of the things that has really prepared me for this, you know, being able to talk to guys like, and I'm about to name drop so hard right now, talking to guys like Dustin Poirier, Robbie Lawler, uh, George Masvidal, Kobe Covington. He's a younger guy, but he's got experience still, you know, so just having these guys around, being able to work with them and learn things mentally and learn things physically as far as skill sets go and things like that has just been incredible, an incredible opportunity that I, man, I can't, I can't say how much I appreciate it, man. So, uh, yeah, it's just been a blessing, you know. Well, was there anything you learned or the way your body responded having a shorter camp? Were there any positives you took from the quicker prep time or would you have liked a longer camp? Um, I actually, it's funny that you asked that question because me and my coaches have realized that I'm not a guy that can do a long training camp because I, I, I get bored easily. So if I do a long training camp, there's there's going to be a point where I'm, I'm, I'm about ready to just stop training and be done with it all and just say, you know what, I don't like this job. I'll go find something else to do. Maybe I'll go back to school. No, but uh, my coaches just know how I operate. Um, I'm, I'm always in shape. So three weeks, two weeks, two days, it doesn't matter. And you know, you hear a lot of guys say that, but I genuinely believe that deep down in my core, I, I'm a competitor, I'm an athlete. I've been that way my whole life. So whenever you call me up, I'll come, I'll show up and I'll win. Might you adjust any of that in the future? Maybe shorter camps? Is this anything of a lesson you've learned? You know what, I think I, I think the thing that I would do is kind of take it easier when you, for me, I'm a bigger 55er. So it typically takes me a little bit of time to get down into a, a weight where it's comfortable for me to be training, you know? so. Um, I think maybe I'll, I'll divide up training camps, maybe at some point in the middle of a training camp, I'll take a couple of days to myself just to, you know, regather myself and things like that and uh, then get back into it instead of just trying to smash everything into one, one full training camp. But uh, there was a couple of things that I, I liked about this short period of time. So we'll see what happens in the future. Are you feeling like there's something to, to prove in this fight? Because obviously you're coming over from a different organization, even though you're the champion there, it's your first fight in the UFC. No, not at all. I mean, look, man, I, I take every single fight as an individual fight. You know, I, I had a guy tell me the other day, I was, I was really frustrated one day at the gym, and he pulled me to the side and he was like, listen, well, you got to take everything five seconds at a time. Even in a fight, you do that five seconds, you move forward to the next five seconds. And that's how I try to move myself in, in regards to how I compete, in regards to how I carry myself in my life. I only go second by second and then move forward, you know. So this is, this is, there's no proving. I've already showed people what I'm capable of. You know, I think people recognize that. This is just another opportunity to show people I have more layers. I have another level that I can go to. So this is just a great opportunity to let everybody see what I'm really about. You're used to fighting five round fights over the past few years. How does a three rounder change things for you? Does it allow you to fight at a higher pace? Any of those kind of things? I think it kind of forces you to have to pick up the pace. I think with with me, I'm I'm always a cerebral type of guy. I try to I try to recognize, look at guys' game plans, look at how they fight. Uh, do they have the cardio to go five rounds? When I was fighting five rounds, you know, so it kind of helped me, kind of ease into a fight a little bit easier. You know, I, I could take my time in the first and second round. So while that guy was declining, I was only going up. You know, so but three round fights, you know, it's a different aspect. You know, you have to go in there and kind of pick up your pace a little bit more. And uh, that's something that we really try, we, we really try to focus on right uh, during this, this short training camp. But uh, you know, a fight is a fight, man. I'll go out there and do my thing, and I'll come out with a W. You know, that's what I do. So it is what it is. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Cool.